Part of what's so interesting about your mm-hmm. history, Khotan, is that all of this incredibly intense stuff happened to your family. Your yeah. father was executed. Your mother was in prison. Another piece that is that your house was in, in Iran was razed to the ground. So that's no more. So these are all things you've had to cope with. But you know so little about those events. So, yes. like, how do you cope with not knowing? Hmm. I don't know what the answer is. I think um, at some level, as you mature in life, as an adult, you have to begin to take responsibility for your own life. And as well as um, be comfortable with ambiguity. You know, I have a long list of people, things, circumstances I can blame it was so and so's fault, so and so. But at some point, you just say, you know what? Okay, you're the sum total of all your experiences. You may know some things. And here's the other thing, Abby. If I ask you about your experience as a 10 year old, you're going to tell me what it felt like, what your emotional experience was. But it doesn't mean it was the reality. It means that it was a 10 year old's perspective of an experience. So for me to go back and sort of try to chronicle and catalog all of these experiences and trying to fit it together is almost meaningless on some level because, again, memories like taffy, and I only have a certain perspective on what happened and the truth. So if I ask my mother, she's going to tell me her perspective, but daddy's gone. So who's going to give me his perspective? Okay, it's not there. Then what do you do? So do you then live as if you have an injury all your life or do you live with the sense of, you know, it's okay. This is where I'm at. And I have to just be aware that these set of circumstances in my life may trigger certain things. Just be aware of it and have greater deal of compassion for yourself to say, okay, what can I create with what I've been given? 